All right, new week, new problem. Uh, day 51, single element in a sorted array. Opponent to lead code, this is a medium problem. An opponent to educative, it falls under the modified binary search pattern. So the group of problems where uh, the solution will involve binary search in some way or form. And let's get to it. Statement, you, are, you have a sorted array, sorted array of integers, numbers, where all integers appear twice, except for one. Your task is to find and return the single integer that appears only once. And the solution should have a time complexity of oh, log, log of n. It should trigger binary search thoughts once you see this. Or better, and a space complexity of O of 1. And this is what it looks like. So we have this array. Everything appears twice except 2, so return 2. Everything appears twice except 4, return 4. Everything here appears twice except 1, return 1. That's what it looks like. Now let's look at the solution. This is a lot of text, but it re the solution rel relies on an insight. So a couple of ob observations before we go into the actual solution. So everything appears twice. All elements are in pairs. In each pair, the first element is at an at the even index, and the second is at an odd index. So if everything is du duplicate duplicated normally with no single element that is not that has that is singular, right, and doesn't have a corresponding pair. Then the first element is an odd, is an odd index, and the second element is in an, sorry, the first element is in an, the first occurrence is always in an even index, zero, two, four, and the second is always in an odd index, one, three, five. And now, it, this pattern breaks when we have an extra element in nums that only exists once. So for example, the pattern keeps going, but then uh, it broke, it broke. The first instance is supposed to be in an even index even numbered index but because of this guy it became an odd numbered index so we have that in mind we are going to use binary search to find the single non-duplicate element in numbers three pointers as usual binary search left mid right if at any point mid is an odd numbered index we change it to an even numbered index and it makes it easier to check whether mid is part of a pair of integers in numbers then we conditionally move the left and right pointers until we reach uh, the non-duplicate element in numbers pardon me while i go through the wall of text i'm going to get to the di diagram that, that will explain everything we're going through but i think it's worth stepping through we're almost done so the observations discuss imply that if mid is even all elements until mid mid appears appear in pairs so everything is good up until that point then a new new pair of identical elements will be found at mid and mid plus one however if an unpaired element appears before mid then the element at mid and mid plus one will be different so the algorithm works like this. You have left at the left most, most index, that's the first num first index zero, and right at the end, the last element of the array. Calculate the mid with the usual formula, left plus right minus left divided by two, floored. That's what this symbol means, floor, math dot floor. We use this formula to avoid any integer overflow during the calculation. If mid is odd, decrement by one to make it an even index. Check whether what's at mid is the same at, as what's right after mid. If they're the same, it means that all the elements up until this point are in pairs, and the single element must appear after mid. So you can move the left pointer toward the right. If both of them are different, it means that the single element must have appeared before mid. So move the right pointer uh, toward the left. Repeat two through four until left becomes equal to right. Eventually, all pointers will be pointing to the same element, so return the element as the output. And this illustrates everything we've been saying up until now. So we have this array of numbers, and from visual, ins visual inspection, we know that four is what we're looking for because it only appears once. So what do we do? Left, medium, right. As usual, binary search, right? This a, follows the modified binary search pattern. And we calculate the mid position. Now, mid is four, so it's at an even number. We don't need to adjust it. And we can check what is right after mid. It follows. So we can assume since, every, since mid and what's right after mid are duplicates, everything on in this from zero to mid is good so we can discard it in our search for the number that's bad so we can move left to two steps after mid so right here move left to six and recalculate mid again so we can we can discard everything here because we know that the what we're looking for can't be in here and that's that's a major point now we're at mid however mid is seven is an odd number and we want to always start from even number. So we're going to re re reassign mid to here and check if it's the same. 
with what's out here. And we can see that that's not the case. That's not the case. And because it's not the case, we know that the problem uh, is going to be in this, this part of the solution. So we can move, we move the right pointer towards the left. So we set the right pointer to what's at mid and check again. Now everything is pointing at, at the same thing. And that's our value. That's our value. It's our value. Uh, so yeah, that's all. That's all there is to it. Um, so now let's look at some code. So we pass in an array of numbers and we initialize the left and right pointer. Left is going to be at the first thing element index in the array. Right is going to be at the last index in the array. And so far as left is not equal to right, uh, do a bunch of cool things. So let the, mid, the, the middle value, which is how we've been calculating it so far the last few videos, what's at left plus the floor of the right minus left divided by two to find the middle index. Um, I can show the diagram. So that's how they wind up here. Uh huh. So if mid is odd, decrement it to make it even. That's what this is, the modulo operator. So if the remainder is one, then we know that it is odd. So decrement it because what's right before it is going to be even. In our case, it landed at an even number, so we're fine. Then if the elements at mid and mid plus one are the same, then the single element must appear after the midpoint. So if what's at mid and what's at mid plus one over here are the same, then we can move left two steps after mid, which is what happened. So what's here? Three is equal to three over here. Mid, four, four plus one, five. What's at there? They're equal. So we can move left to two steps after. So one, two over here so let, that's why left wound up here and then we're done with this iteration of the loop and then we come again we recalculate mid so the mid got recalculated recalculated but in this case it's odd so mid gets decremented by one like so and now um if they're the same then it must appear after the midpoint. In this case, they are not the same. What's at mid and what's at mid plus one? What's at mid, say four, and what's at mid plus one, five, are not the same. So we must search for the single element before the mid, the mid, the midpoint. So in this case, right is going to shift and become to mid, which is what happens here. And now right's at mid. However, left is now equal to right. So this loop breaks. We break out of the loop. We can just return what's at left, because that's what's going to be our answer. And it turns out that's the case. Six is now our answer. What's at index six is now our answer. So four is the thing that broke the chain. <laughs> I think it's fairly, fairly straightforward, even though it's officially a medium problem. I think it's good. Short and sweet. And then big notation, log of n, because it's a binary search. Yeah log of n and space complexity is o of one because we never have more than uh left right and mid those are the only three things and no matter how big the array is that's all we need to solve this that's all see you next time